I saw you on uh, Hot Ones. I think it was, uh, you did a little bit ago. How long ago? About a year and some change I fucking ago. love that show. Yeah. It's you just... were so good on it. Thank you. Uh, and because the, um, uh, Sean? Is that yeah, the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ask such good questions. Yeah. And uh, you told one, and you don't have to completely replay it, but it was about uh, the picture of you and it was Singleton, right? And, and Tupac. Tupac. Uh, and Cube. Oh, man. Yep. And yep. Then how you kind of like. And yeah, Cube, Singleton, Tupac. Well, you just give, because that's, I mean, to me that is like, <laughs> I think we've all in our journey been a part of photos or, or been in situations where one got snapped and you're just like, dude, that is, that should be blown up and put above my, uh, 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 my, my, on my ceiling. Yeah. There should be a statue of it outside. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. iconic. It was cool. What's the story behind that? So it was, uh, the rap party for John Singleton's second film, Poetic Justice. All right. And, um, you know, it was, uh, uh I had a minuscule part in there and I had that's, met John uh, Tupac. That's Janet, Janet Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, King, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Joe Torrey. And, uh, I had a small part in it. I mean, tiny little part. Uh, but I was so hyped on on being a part of it. I had met John. It was such an excitement about Boys in the Hood. And at the rap party, it was somewhere like, you know, towards the hood in L.A., off La Brea or Crenshaw. I can't remember. It was yeah. a while ago. And I, there was two cool things about that night. I saw, I met Snoop Dogg for the first time. It's when he first came out with Deep Cover. Like, I, mm -hmm. he hadn't even been to New York. He was like, you know, I was like, yo, Man. we're in New York. We fuck with you. He was like, really? And I was like, yeah. He was like, I haven't been there yet. I was like, oh, shit. He had just came out. Oh, my before, God. It was before his first record. It was before, it was before the, 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 the Chronic came out. He had just put out that one song. And then um, a few minutes later, I watched him. I, 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 I witnessed him meeting Tupac. For the first time, what? like they battled each other on the mic. They both knew who each other were, and it was, <laughs> it was, it wasn't like tense, tense like a fight. But that's it was like kinda, watching McCartney meet Lennon. I watched. Like, it. Are you kidding I me? I saw it with my own two eyes. That's I, historic. I, it was, it was cool. And then, and then, consequently, that night, because I t told that story to Snoop, and he was, because he remembers the night too, because it was obviously the first night he met Pac. I'm he, surprised Snoop can remember anything. <laughs> yo, he's got a fucking memory I've like, heard that about sharp, him. I've like heard everything. That about him, yeah. He remembers yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he consequently that same night smoked his first blunt that Tupac rolled for him. <laughs> which I didn't see what? that, but I was like, that's what? that should be a national holiday. It yeah. should be. <laughs> that's like a weed that should like a game changing moment. Like he smoked the his day first, Snoop's Snoop first smoked, blunt. First blunt. He had never smoked blunts. He smoked joints and he had never smoked. Tupac Snoop's first blunt. blunt should be a children's book. Yeah. Exactly. I mean It's just like Christmas. When he yeah. grew up. Yeah. One, blunt, first, one, blunt. First blunt. <laughs> one blunt. One blunt. One blunt can change the world. <laughs> exactly. It that's did. A, a, it, Completely did oh roll by Pac, roll by Tupac. Shit. So he, when I I told this 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 sort of picture and that that picture got it uh, a, a life when I told it on Snoop's GGN show and he was tripping on it and brought back so many memories to him, and then he told the story about him smoking the blunt for the first time, and then and then later on that night, um, there was a photographer. Then this is ninety four yeah. five, mm -hmm. so there wasn't like everybody had cameras. There was a photographer there, yeah, sure. yeah. and he was taking photos. And the late, great John Singleton, who just passed and was yeah. such a fucking good dude, and, and who I got to work with at Poetic Justice and Higher Learning, and he was really remained a friend uh, uh, and, and somebody who just was so good at staying in touch. I saw him last in, in, in I believe it was March or February. He, he said, I heard you're doing stand-up. I'm going to come out of improv tonight. And he oh. came, and, I, and like, that's the last time I saw John. Like he's, oh He was one of those dude. people. Yeah. Like He just came, and he was like, Salt oh, you got earth. And, you know, like he was heckling me on stage and like, you know, <laughs> talk about this, talk about, you know, and, and, um, but that night at, at they were, there was, uh, Cube, John and Tupac were getting ready to take a, a photo. Mm -hmm. And John was like, get in here, Mike, get in here, Mike. And I was like, and that's why I'm on the end. Cause yeah. he was like, get in there. And I got in there, but I remember when we took the photo like, I remember the moment. Cause I was like, I was standing next to three people I had such reverence for it was cube yeah, in his prime absolutely john right after boys in the hood and tupac oh, in the middle of God. his life yeah 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 and 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 i just i remember the whole thing and like maybe 10 or 12 years ago that picture resurfaced and i was i i when i saw it i was like i knew where it was when it was because you know when you're that young and you you know you remember so many things so clearly and those guys and the excitement that I had uh, uh, about being an actor and a young actor and being around people that I love so much and you're in your 20s. I don't know, you, 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 you sort of, um, things sort of download into your, 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 your system differently, I feel, when, when, when you're younger. But I remember that in, 
and that that's the story of, of that photo and it's something like i'm so glad that it got taken because like oh, yeah. i remember it that's i remember so it and you also were... jumped into it in a per, like you're you're positioned like you're a part of it because you know sometimes when people are like yo get in this real quick you can do an awkward like eh? no i know and you're like well that <laughs> guy clearly like jumped in everybody's got like a serious face yeah. on, and i'm kind of but You're John there. Said, You're supposed to be there. Yeah, John said, come on, get in this photo, Mike. Get in this photo, Mike, because he was a fan of mine. You know, wow. and, and it was. Do you was... think at the time that Pac and, and Cube were like looking over like, why the fuck does this kid have to come <laughs> fuck our photo up? <laughs> no, nah, they were they were they were fucking they were they were cool. I mean, I mean, we Good. all knew each other like when you're, okay. you know, like we all like I hadn't known Cube uh, from around. And, you know, Pac was a, a, a you know, like I don't want to say fan like I don't. But like he knew he was he respected okay. my shit. And okay. I, but oh, I, my God. You know, with Tupac, when he was that during that time, like you knew he was special. Yeah. Beyond just like, you know, the normal like this guy's talented. Like you knew there was like, I don't know, some sort of like light on him. You just knew it. Like from his work, his energy. Like he just was special, you know. Yeah. Like and I and when I worked with him in that little part in Port of Justice, like it was to work with Tupac. Like and he wasn't. He hadn't done. He hadn't gotten any crazy trouble. Like I was. I fucked with him. I loved him and I was just such a fan of his and the crazy thing about how I heard about Tupac is because me and Jada Pinkett had our first agents together oh, wow. and, and I remember um, uh, she didn't even have a car I drove her to her first TV audition that she wound up getting but we were getting to know each other talking bullshit around and she told me she said you know my friend Tupac uh, uh, he's gonna wind up being a big big star he's gonna be a big rapper and a big movie star and i was like get the fuck out of it because at the time there was no rappers who were no right but she and then she was like i'm telling you i was like yeah i right. heard that about him too about being a big movie star right i heard that was just like on his path yo right? he was gonna do that but and this is before he even came out with digital underground like you know oh, wow. and i was like yeah what's his name tu tu tupac yeah what's it's not a movie fuck? star yeah. name yeah they yeah. know and she was like yo i'm telling you he's gonna be a big fucking deal he hadn't done shit and sure enough like it, it so like it was just I mean, that dude was a fuck that's 25 amazing. years old. Oh, yeah, God. that's Eddie Murphy that shit. shit, you know, where you've got that much skill set at that age. And, and like, before, if you're younger than that, you go, oh, yeah, of course they can accomplish that at age 25. Then you get older than that, you're like, how the fuck did yeah. they do that? <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was in, like, five years. Yeah, like, it was, people like, think that, like, uh, how, old, uh, like how old was Biggie when he died? 25. Like, tw 25. 25. That's insane Christ, that you dude. got to do all that and accomplish all that and, by 25. And like the first record came out, he, they were 20, 21, 19, crazy. So to be like so fucking young and then to have it cut short like that, is crazy. It, yeah. is, is it even more insane to look back at like that photo of Cube and then see what Cube's doing now with like just... He's an entrepreneur. You guys He's working together on Big to, Three, you know? Yeah, like, that's madness. He's a fucking game changer. Yeah, yeah right. Like, I, I, he's... Yo, if Ice Cube has an idea, you have to listen. He sure. left NWA at the peak of NWA. Mm -hmm. He started acting, started doing dramatic acting, then went from dramatic acting to, to, to Are We There Yet? Yeah, family he, comedies. To, like, I'm going to start a Big Three a basketball league. What? To, you know, it's in its fourth year to, you If know. Cube came up to you right now and said, hey, dude, I'm going to start this company yes. where we're drinking our own urine. Yes. You'd be like, okay, that's what yeah, we're going to do yeah. in four years. What are we yes. calling it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what are we doing? Like, where, are we doing it now? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Our well, own yeah, urine? Yeah. Like it's about last night.